जय हिंद एवरी वन आई एम प्रभात कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पी वाई क्यू अकेडमी इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी डिटेल अबाउट द पेपर टू ऑफ सी ए पी एफ ए सी एग्जामिनेशन सो यू ऑल नो दैट दैट पेपर टू कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड एंड यू हैव टू राइट दिस पेपर विद इन थ्री आवर्स एंड द मेन डिफरेंस विद अदर एग्जाम्स लाइक एन डी ए और सी डी एस द पेपर ऑफ इंग्लिश इज द सब्जेक्टिव नॉट एज ऑब्जेक्टिव एज इन केस ऑफ एन डी एज वेल एज सी डी एस सो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी डी एस और अदर कैंडिडेट्स हु आर नॉट बिलोंगिंग टू द कैटेगरी ऑफ सी यू पी एस सी सी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन सो दे आर हैविंग अ फियर अबाउट दिस पेपर they are sure that they can qualify paper 1 but they are, are having a doubt that how to approach this paper 2 and uh, so today in this video i am going to discuss each and every question and clear all your doubts regarding paper 2 of upsc capf examination so you can see here this uh, i took uh, a sample paper from this is uh, c uh, this is paper of capf ac examination 2021 so the name of this paper is general studies essay and comprehension as the name suggests that there will be essay and uh, the content will be in the form of general studies and also it will uh, have a pe- question of comprehension reading comprehension and there are total 3 uh, three hours and maximum marks is 200 so let's move on to first question before moving on to the first question let's read the instructions okay so in total there will be six questions and you have to attempt it and uh, then the question number 1 will be printed in both hindi and english and you can answer the question number 1 in both hindi or english so when you were fill uh, you will f- fill the form you will get the op- uh, option that whether you want to attempt the essay question in english or hindi rest all other questions uh, from question number 2 to question number 6 you have to answer this question in english only there will be no option or no uh, translation of questions okay so let's move to first question in the first question will be there will be uh, six essays and out of six essays you have to write four essay so uh, and each essay uh, consists of 20 marks so there is total 80 marks given to essay and out of 200 80 is a very good weightage so uh, completing four essay is a uh, means a big task and you have to complete it because if you are leaving any essay or you are not able to complete it you are simply losing 20 marks and 20 marks will create a huge difference so you can see here the f- topics are first topic is chinese economic policy in countries bordering india second is work from home a boon or a ban third is political parties in india is a flourishing family business so you can see here the topics are not so complex as it is in case of the sc paper of civil services examination that means if you are thorough with the topics or the current affairs uh, given in newspaper you can easily write it with a small amount of practice and uh, you can see here other topic is unemployment and and uh, new education policy then urbanization is hazardous to human health and infiltrators are a threat to indian security in each and every paper you will find at least one or sometimes it may more than two or three to- topics of essay from internal security okay since the C- role of capf Uh, is uh, de- is to deal with the internal security issues so each and every year the upsc tries to uh, give essay on the topics of internal security now let's come to second question the second question is there will be two question and uh, in the statement uh, you have to write uh, statements in for or against so uh, the first question is elections in states should be held simultaneously and you have to write it uh, some points in for and some points in against 
and in this question there is no word limit but you have to practice it in a way that you shouldn't cross uh, at least it means you have to write at least five points in for five points in against and a small para in conclusion similarly for this second question in which farmer protest are politically motivated so you can see here both the topics were taken which were in current so if you are thorough with newspaper in newspaper various articles are being published and in which uh, the each and every writer of the article uh is producing or is is presenting the views in for and against so you can get idea about it now let's come to third topic which is report writing so while reading newspaper you will go through various reports and so upsc expects that what you are reading in newspaper uh, you uh, you must write in similar uh, write a similar report on the given topic so the you can see here the first topic is oxygen cylinder crisis in delhi it was a, a very hot topic in newspaper during the second wave then poll violence in west bengal it was also a hot topic so you can write a report a, rep a report writing has a particular format and uh, which is given in each and every newspaper uh, like uh, uh, in the uh, in the right hand side sorry left hand side up top of the left hand side you will get date place similarly uh, uh, th that is the means uh, format now let's come to next question next question is the pressy writing that means you have to read the passages and write the summary in the uh, so that the length of the summary is one third of the length of the whole passage and uh, in the examination in the answer sheet you will be given uh, a box like format so you have to write and after that you have to count the number of words so and uh, since they are giving box wise so the number of words should not be exceeding the given word limit suppose the pa the original passage is of suppose Two for two fifty or two uh, suppose two forty words. So one third is eighty. So you should not exceed uh, plus or minus ten. That means you can write uh, seventy words or ninety words. Means between this, but you should not write like hundred ten words or sixty words. It's there should not be a large difference. Now let's come to next. This is a reading comprehension. That means you have to read this passage. and on this basis you will be given five questions uh, four marks each and you have to answer it in your uh, in the according to the passage so you must have done this in your school days now you have to do the same next is the important portion or last portion is the grammar portion the grammar portion is of uh, 25 marks okay and you can see here there are various in the first, grammar section is further divided into three sections in first section it is re, uh, write uh, rewrite the sentence as directed in the first question you can see here change into passive that means you have to change this passive into uh, sorry change this statement into passive voice it is given in active voice uh, second uh, you have to rewrite this sentence using neither nor in this way you have to uh, proceed the grammar portion and second section uh, deals with uh, that there are different phrases or words and you have to make sentence in this question each and every word has uh, i mean uh, each and every sentence will fetch you two marks now the third section uh, you have to uh, Uh, you have to find mistakes and uh, rewrite this sentence so uh, till now we are completed with total six question which come in this paper 2 and if we when we will count the marks distribution so uh, in the essay part there are four questions and each question is of 20 marks so that there is a total 80 marks of essay 
then two arguments each 20 marks so 40 marks for argument writing two report uh, 10 marks each so 20 marks for uh, report writing one pressy writing 15 marks and uh, one reading comprehension which will have five questions four marks each so 20 marks and then grammar portion and it will be of total 25 marks so in total there will be 200 marks and you have to attempt this in three hours now let's come to the basic requirements the basic requirement of this paper is the, the time management that you have to complete the paper within the time framework that is three hours then uh, in the hurry of completing the paper you should not compromise the quality of the content then adhere to word limit because if you are going you are exceeding word limit you uh, you are exceeding time as well as you will not given space uh, uh, more than if you are exceeding your word limit then grammatical mistakes because uh, more than 140 marks is of uh, writing section so you have to uh, work on your grammatical skills so that what you are presenting is understand uh, is understandable so that you will get good marks then the uh, requirement of the question that means uh, what the question is asking and what you are writing and then is requirement of the reader that uh, what the re what a reader or the or the invigilator uh, wants to uh, means uh, wants uh, wants to check according to uh, means for that question okay so uh, now we will discuss uh, each and every point so first discuss the uh, means from uh, uh, we discussed about the quality content so from where we will get this quality content so there are various sources first is the newspaper you need to read newspaper every day on daily basis and since the uh, all the questions except the essay portion requires English so it is advisable to read uh, English newspapers unless or until you are from Hindi medium so you can prefer Hindi newspaper but you but if your uh, medium of language is English then you should newspaper English newspaper and in which uh, uh, the these two newspapers are preferable like the Hindu and the Indian Express other than newspaper reading you have to go through news debates and uh, don't go through news debates uh, means in which uh, they, they are fighting go to a news debate in which uh, the new channels call intellectuals or the retired civil servants who will provide you a detailed analysis of a particular topic so that you can present that in that way and uh, in my view you can go to youtube channel of sunset tv or bharata first in which they generally call uh, intellectuals from uh, retired civil servants or uh, a, a personality who, who, who has a good knowledge in his field and you can also go through the debates of dd national so th this will be very much useful for you and uh, you will get various useful points which you can use in your uh, paper too as well as you will find very much useful for your interview okay then comes standard books use of standard books one is the topic of internal security for which you will get essay also as well as internal security is a very important topic for your interview of CFEF AC. So for this a standard book is generally utilized by the aspirants of UPSC is uh, the, a book by uh, Ashok Kumar who was IPS. So he has written a very good book on internal security. So you can prefer this book. Then English grammar. For English grammar you can use any books uh, which you find sufficient. Okay. Because the level of English grammar is uh, not so tough. It is up to means uh, class 10 level 
but uh, uh, so i can you can prefer ren and martin or any other book which you find useful then then comes the importance of youtube channels which you, which will provide you some quality content uh, like study iq world affairs or for english you can refer a uh, youtube channel uh, cebr Res uh, the ma'am's name is rashmiya you can just type uh, search uh, capf english and you will get her videos so i found her videos when i was preparing useful so these are the source and uh, if you are going through this source uh, honestly i don't think you will get uh, means you will found any deficiency of content you will have a good content and which will enhance your credibility next is important is a time management time management is a very important issue for the paper too because it has been seen that most of the students are not able to complete their paper within the given time framework so first your task is to complete the whole paper within time framework then if you are able to complete it you have to maintain the quality so for time management you have to plan your uh, means uh, whole paper that how you are going to attend this which question you have to attempt first which you will uh, leave it for last and uh, how to deal with some unexpected questions and this can be only done by practice practice will make uh, your time management uh, perfect so that you will not find any uneasy situation during examination so next is how much marks is sufficient so um, if you are going to appear first time you must have these kinds of doubt so uh, while you are reading the notification you will find that upsc has provided a minimum standard that at least you have to score 25% marks that means out of 200 you have to at least score 50 marks but th is this sufficient to qualify no this is a marks given in a case that if you have no competitor still you have to uh, qualify means uh, score at least 50 marks in paper 2 but when there are competitors then then there will be a definite cut off so it has been seen that in my experience of last 4 years that at least if you are scoring 60 to 70 marks you will qualify the cut off marks okay and if you are scoring 85 to 90 then it is a decent score and 100 plus score is a good score or if you are able to 100 plus then it is a excellent score but it is advisable that you can get at least 85 to 90 or 95 marks if you are i uh, means preparing well and if you want to score 100% then you have to work on your grammatical skills because the 25 marks grammar you if you are good in grammar you can get 25 out of 25 and uh, but uh, in case of other sections like essay or report writing or argument writing it is a writing section in which uh, there is subjectivity that uh, how you written on that day and how the examiner how the question the person who is checking your answer is thinking and what uh, all guidelines he has been given while well, uh, he is given marks to your particular answer so there is subjectivity but uh, in case of uh, grammar there is no subjectivity there is one particular answer and if you write that answer you will get the full marks so the reason the, the secret behind scoring high marks is the uh, grammar but if at, uh, if you are performing average in writing section and at least you are score up to 10 marks in grammar section you can easily get up to 80 marks and 80 marks is decent score to qualify okay now let's move now the best way to uh, practice that means uh, you have to score you have to practice and now the best way to practice is practice through pyqs 
the previous year questions will give you the guide that uh, uh, what type of topics you have to prepare for essay or for argument writing or for report writing so that while reading newspaper you will keep an eye on those topics and you will also try to if uh, possible try to make notes or have a paper cutting or uh, you can have a note from that topics okay so um, for essay argument writing or report writing you should first you should start practicing the ans uh, answers of those essay or argument writing or report writing of the last five years so that you will first you will get the idea of the questions second you will get uh, means uh, get to practice the same question which type of question are being asked okay then come to the grammar portion in grammar portion at least you should practice all the questions which are uh, means came till now means you have to complete all the PYQs of grammar because grammar is like uh, solving MCQ okay solving math mathematics question that means more you practice more will be your accuracy and you can fetch more marks in the examination now the other than this while attending these questions you will get to know that what are your weakness what are your strength and on the basis of your strengths and weaknesses you will decide on the sequence of attending questions okay that uh, whether you should start from backside from grammar person or you should start from writing essay or from any part so you are going to decide your own sequence i'm not going to tell you then is minimizing the grammatical mistakes since more than 140 marks is of writing section where you have to write uh, your answer in your own words so if you are doing less grammatical mistakes so the uh, the the question the person who is checking your answer uh, will be able to understand it easily then is wise use of quotes examples anecdotes current schemes okay so while you are writing essay or it is argument writing or any or report writing so you have to prepare different quotes or examples and put it where it is suited don't try to means put uh, any quote where it is not required okay then it is also advisable to prepare intro and conclusion because it is the important part of essay and it is going to create an impression as you know that first impression is the last impression so intro is very important and similarly conclusion now uh, most importantly attending the whole paper as i said earlier that attending the whole paper within time limit okay you should try that uh, means you are attending 200 out of 200 and out of 200 means if you are attending 200 out of 200 and attending and doing grammar of 10 to 15 correctly you are you can easily get 90 to 95 marks and which is a very good score in CAPF paper 2 so um, means, uh, what all you will get from my side that means from PYQ Academy so I will be uploading separate videos on essay report writing argument writing pressy writing reading comparison and grammar so that you will get a uh, preparation you get to know and uh, can prepare accurately for each and every topic and believe me uh, paper 2 is totally hard work you can do smart work in paper 1 but for paper 2 you have to work for days or months then only you can score well otherwise you cannot change your writing or you cannot change your way of uh, presenting your thoughts and this can be done in a long term basis so uh, right now it is february and exam is going to be held in august so there is sufficient time that from you if you start your practice from today you can score very well okay and uh, don't be fearful thinking about that uh, uh, whether you are able to present in a right way or not uh, just think that how you cleared your boards 
similar this is same subjective exam and uh, you can score well with a quite good amount of practice now i will also try to bring solution of grammar portions so that uh, i think uh, if you practice the last 20 years grammar portion you will get at least 10 to 12 marks similar questions okay now important contents related to content will be posted on my telegram channel uh, i had given the link of my telegram channel pyq academy and there i am posting p different pdfs or also paper cuttings or newspaper and different articles which are related to this examination so that uh, each and every day a uh, content is being provided to you and that content you can utilize in your writing section okay so i hope i am clear in this uh, video and uh, if you have any doubt regarding paper 2 so you can comment directly or you can contact me on different uh, social media platforms uh, the link of those platforms i had given in the description box and uh, if you like the video then please share it and uh, please hit the bell icon so that you will get the updates of my lectures okay so thank thank you so much for watching vyq academy